Okay, my name is Tim Conley. I'm the creative director with Fairmont's First Friday Arts and Music Series. Okay. And uh, how many? How long we've we been doing this event? <laughs> this is its first year. We had our first event, uh, which was on the first Friday of May, mm -hmm. um, and then we also did uh, June and July. This is August, and we will all wrap up in September. Unfortunately, the June event uh, was canceled due to rain, and July we were fighting the heat advisory. People were yeah. still waiting to get their power back on, mm -hmm. so so we're hoping we will gain momentum. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got we've got a little bit of a crowd out here today. Is this? Uh, have you been seeing growth in terms of? Uh, it's been a little been? hard to judge growth fighting the weather, but uh, actually, uh, word of mouth has been growing, which has been great, and mm -hmm. uh, and. Like I said, we're, we're this is sort of the starter program, and we're trying to gain, gain some traction mm -hmm. and make certain the people of Fairmont know about this and know that there's some place to go that's you know not a drive to Morgantown or Pittsburgh in order to catch a band or yeah. see some local artists. Well, what gave you the idea to get this program started? What kicked this off? I came in a little bit later on the project. The co-founders are Elizabeth uh, Abio Cruikshank and Wayne Worth. And they're both very big into community development and grassroots organizing. And uh, I'm recently transplanted back into Fairmont. So, this was great for me. I didn't know what was available. I'd been out of town for about 20 years. I moved away to college, and I'd been in New York and Pittsburgh and Atlanta and other metropolitan cities, and, and it was nice. I wanted to be involved to make certain there was something to do in my hometown, which was very nice. And, and also to learn about the arts community here, the artists and the musicians that are that are here in this area, in northern West Virginia. Well, how would you how would you describe the arts community here? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, maybe underutilized would be a good word. Um, certainly undermarketed, and uh, but really rich and vibrant, and a lot of great talent. You just sort of have to scratch the surface, and it's there. So. Okay. And you think that the, you think that the people of Fairmont are receptive to this kind of event, uh, getting involved in this? We've gotten a lot of good feedback from Fairmont residents thanking us for trying to uh, get this started and underway. I think everyone here would like to have uh, more options for entertainment and the arts. And like I said, this is. I think for us, more than anything, a community building exercise and trying to get people out, get off the couch, get off the porch, come outside. I know it's a little warm, but it's still gorgeous out and support your community. Okay. Well, as far as today goes, what are the big attractions? What are who do we have out here today? today? right now, we have Magic Chad, Chad Davis, who's a local magician, actually grew up two doors down from me. Um, we have some very fine singers from the Fairmont State University, I'm going to forget their name, I think it's Preparatory Arts Academy, uh, who will be singing for us. And then our headlining band is a Wisdom of Owls, a um, bunch of locals that sort of do a mix of bluegrass and folk and rock. Um, great guys. We also have a number of vendors here selling uh, various arts and crafts um, and a few other nonprofits trying to gain support. So, yeah. and, and just to be clear, this is the first Friday of the month, so if people miss it today, it's September, will also be. September, September 6th, I believe, mm -hmm. but I don't have a calendar in front of me. But it will be the first Friday of it September. It will be the first Friday of September, and we will actually be on top of the parking deck with a gorgeous view of downtown. If you have been downtown recently. I know there's a ton of things underway in Fairmont. It's kind of an exciting time. We're all sort of waiting for this movement to develop with the new city center that's going in right across the street from here and some other things. It's uh, looking up. It's a slow process, but if we all dig in, we'll make it. So. How it came about why, why people want to get out to it? Well, I know um, last November, Wayne and I conversation about how to make um, <laughs> where we live a better place and mm -hmm. then with what Fairmont needs people talk about what Fairmont needs to have happen in Fairmont to yeah. um, you know, for it to grow and for people to want to come to downtown mm -hmm. so we have great local artists great um, authors wonderful talent here so why not um, uh, showcase it
and perhaps people may come. <laughs> Now I know uh, we're a little we're a little late to get people out today, but I understand that on for the September mm -hmm. uh, when that's coming up, you guys are going. We're, we're up. going up, so you can see all of Fairmont. Mm -hmm. Are you guys excited about that? I'm getting yes. kind of excited. Very yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The ultimatums will be played mm -hmm. um, that day, so yeah, kind of getting excited. How do you put together an event like this? Uh, I know that Fairmont does have an art community, but sometimes it's a little hard to find. It's not real. It's not particularly noticeable. Noticeable? Yeah. I know I'm. I think you get to really go out of grassroots. Um, you have to um, you have to show that you're really invested in the creative class. That you're going to be not only persistent and you know going through the growing pains of this, mm -hmm. but also show the artists and the local creative class that um, that this is going to be something that's sustainable and that they can have a, a part in in assisting it for assisting its growth. Mm -hmm. um, because without them, then you know we're just you know we're just organizers without a you know mm -hmm. with a cause but without an outcome. Right. Now I understand that September is going to be the last uh, event for this year. You have plans to keep it going? Uh, Absolutely. Starting um, next May again down on First Street.